This is Don't Fear Grit with Rob Taormina. Marketing strategies and advertising technologies to help you build a better business. Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Fear Grit. This is episode three. I'm your host, Rob Taramina. Today, we're gonna to be going over Facebook lead gen ads, the advantages, disadvantages, some of the alternatives, and also the technologies that I use to create smoother flows that result in better conversions of customers. Let's start with the advantages and what exactly is a Facebook lead gen ad. Um, Facebook lead gen ad is pretty simple. It's literally a form that's built into the ad that allows the user to submit a lead right from the ad without having to navigate off of the ad and to go to a place like a website. And in the advertising world, there's sort of like a, a formula. That I'll help you, I'll, I'll explain it in, as a formula to help give you a better a visual. The, from the moment that a user engages, that first moment, right, they see your ad to the moment they become a paying customer. All of the processes that are in between those two points, there's potential and there will always be a percentage of those users that drop out, that no longer will convert, that don't go to the next step. For example, they see your ad, they click on it and they go to your website. There's gonna be a percentage of people that don't continue after that point. And then let's say in your process, they go to your website and you need them to go to the product page after that. That's an additional step that you're asking them to take, which means there's gonna be a percentage of those users that drop off. Now, the more processes that you add, the more people potentially can drop off, which reduces your pool of potential customers. So that's why one easy way to help with conversions on, for example, your website, is to look at that process. Look at what the source is, all right? What is your source for that lead? And, and analyze from that point, to the point of conversion and try to find a place where you can remove um, items from that process to give yourself the best chance to convert the most amount of users. But getting back now to lead gen ad because that therein actually lies the advantage to lead gen ads is that you are stopping the process. There's no more process after that. You're not requiring them to go maybe two or three pages deep into your website. You're not requiring them to find the phone number click the phone number where it then pops up on the phone and then clicking send and then hopefully that call connects. Like you are removing everything thereafter, everything after that ad to convert them. And that's a great advantage, which is gonna give you the best chance to convert the most amount of users. It's gonna be about volume. But therein also lies the disadvantage. Now, where there is now a very simple process, it's a very convenient, simple process for the user, now there's really no added filters to filter out some of the people that you may not want actually as a lead. For example, people who are just curious. They're curious to know what happens after they click submit. I know it sounds ridiculous, but there's gonna be a percentage of the lead generated just from people who are curious. Maybe they're just looking for and researching information. There are certain businesses, maybe you're in a line of work and you're in, you're in an industry and where you don't want people who are researching, right? So this right here, the lead gen ad, then is a disadvantage for you. And you might look at it as, this is not for me because I don't want to deal with, with volume. Now, for me myself, I actually am under the school of thought where I like the volume because I look at all customers as either a customer in the moment or a, a, a customer in the future. Regardless, they're all a customer. Right, I just need to put them in, in into the, the the sales funnel somewhere. Now, here's the thing: I can guarantee you, you will not convert people unless they're in your funnel. So that's why, for me, I'm under the school of thought. I like to reduce the amount of filters that I'm adding to my lead process because, at the very least, I want to build a list that gives me potential to convert that somewhere along the funnel. Maybe the person right now is just interested in, in researching, but they're interested in researching because they are paying customers six months from now. In order for you to be in the game to convert that user, you know you have to inject them into the funnel today. So that's why for me, 
I like Facebook lead gen ads because it reduces the amount of filters, increasing my chance of being able to convert a lot of leads, so I don't mind the volume game. But I understand how it could be a little bit annoying, and it could be you could feel like it's wasting your time. Maybe you're in an industry where your conversion is not on your website. You don't have a product that people are buying on your work uh, on your website. Maybe it's a product that people have to come to your place of business in order to purchase. For example, like a car. Right now, I don't know too many people that are willing to pony up thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on a website to buy a car. In that case, it's a lead. The point of conversion ultimately is going to be when that person is at the dealership and they're purchasing the car that way. So in that space right here, time is very valuable, and to be able and to say that. You know, you're gonna have to spend a portion of your time just investing into a relationship into something that might convert six months to a year from now. That could be a hard sell. So there's alternatives. Here's some of the alternatives. Instead of using Facebook lead gen tool, you want now that added filter. So you wanna send them somewhere else, microsite landing page, splash page, whatever it is that you call it, you can build out a dedicated page to that particular product. Now this is very important, so I'm gonna re repeat myself here. It is so important, whatever it is that is the intent of your ad. If your ad, for example, is pushing a very specific you know, face cream, when that person clicks the ad, don't send them to your home page. Don't even send them to your inventory page. Send them to that face cream because your ad engaged and initially converted a user to be interested in the face cream. Therefore, when they click, you better deliver. And if you deliver, that now increases your chances of conversion. So now you've got point one, they see, they're interested, and they engage with your ad so they click over. When they click, it's a dedicated page, now more robust, and there's a lot more features to a Facebook lead gen ad. You can actually add, because a lot of these things are customized. Now you can use templates, you can use third parties. There are really great third party um, like landing pages um, uh, th that you can use, and I'll outline that in a second. But for the most part, these things are fully customizable, and you can get them to do whatever it is you want. You can track behavior, react based on that user behavior on that particular page, lots of added, um, more robust remarketing opportunities as it relates to them now being on this page. I love it. Right now, most of my budget is being sent towards these microsites and landing pages. I am still a big advocate of Facebook lead gen, but in reality, as the agency, like my agency that I have, working with my clients, a lot of them are, they want the results today. They're not in a position where like, yes, I wanna invest in building a list and I wanna invest into, the, into the, the future of my business, which is six months to a year from now. Most of them are looking for results today. You know, we're, lo we're looking in terms, campaigns in terms of two, three, four weeks, not always six months to a year to three years. So in that case, we move away from Facebook lead gen ads for that particular um, campaign, for that particular strategy, and we shift now in a different strategy. It's microsite or landing page uh, based, and we'll build out a specific page now that's meant to convert a high quality user. We want this page to not just convert, but we want this page to be really clear, informative, and strategic in getting the user who is gonna be a paying client in the moment to convert. That's the intent of this page right here. And that's highly, highly effective. So you've gotta make a decision between Facebook lead gen ads and maybe you want strictly an exclusive microsite. Well, something that'll help you make the decision is do you want volume or do you just want high, high quality? Now. You, you do the math yourself. Do you think it's gonna be more money or less money for one of these? Well, obviously, it's a lot less expensive as far as the cost per lead to do volume with lead Facebook lead gen ads than it is to do from a microsite. That cost per lead is gonna go up. So that's why when you're doing your calculations and you're analyzing your data, you gotta go a little bit further to analyze now what was now my cost per retention? What was the value? What was the lifetime value of the customers that I earned? That's a better metric to go by. Um, but that really will help you guys decide which one do I start with. Now, Facebook lead gen is gonna be 
Remember, really convenient for the consumer, but it's also really easy for you. Maybe you don't have the time, the resources, the energy, and that you feel like you don't even have the knowledge to be able to now start creating these advanced, complicated uh, funnels via these microsites and landing pages. That's fine. Then Facebook Legion ad, you can get up and running in a matter of minutes. It's really, really easy and really, really convenient. But if you do want to take it a step further, then I also advise you to look in the direction of creating a microsite on your website or landing page or something like that that's dedicated to the product or service or info product that you're trying to sell. Remember, as long as you run through your objective, through the intent of your strategy, then ultimately that result will match. So often I deal with people where they set up their ad their advertising strategy and their advertising campaigns, and it didn't deliver to the way that they were expecting. And that's because they didn't line everything up correctly, right? When you, are, when you set up a Facebook lead gen ad, you have got to have clear expectation then, and then you have to set up very clear sales conversion workflows to convert that based on where the lead is being generated from. Like I know I might be giving you a little bit more information right now than you were expecting, but it's very, very important for people to be very real with what the expectation is, even to the point of where the lead is generating from. Because not all leads are created equal, not all lead sources are created equal. We need to develop strategies that is built for each one of these sources and workflows and systems and strategies because they're all different. We can't treat them all the same. And so those are some of the alternatives. The alternatives are creating different microsites or landing pages that are meant to convert and it's gonna increase the, the quality. Now, here's some of the technologies that I use um, for both my clients and my businesses itself. I've used and I use ClickFunnels, I use Active Campaign. Those are pretty much the two big players right now in my arsenal. I have a few others that, that I do use, a few others that I've been using for a lot longer than Active Campaign and, and ClickFunnels, but they have different use. And I'll go over those tools a little bit uh, later in, uh, in, in the episodes because those tools that are, that are used, for example, we actually build out applications that are right native to Facebook. There's an advantage there, there's a disadvantage there, but we'll talk about that at a, at a later uh, uh, episode on the advantages to and, and how to actually build a Facebook app. Pretty cool stuff, uh, but in this case, we are currently really using um, active campaign and click funnels. Um, I personally, I, I love the features of the two um, for remarketing purposes. It really helps me to monitor and also create proper sequences that are tailored to specific users even, um, different specific user behaviors. They're incredible tools and you can use both. You can actually use both sometimes for the st same strategy. For me, more often than not, I'm using them differently, um, so they're not a part of the same strategy, but both are really, really valuable. ClickFunnels, for example, has done all the work for you. They have figured out the best systems that will convert your users, and they've come up with the best systems to remarket to your users to maybe convert them a little bit further down the funnel. So instead of you trying to rack your brain to trying to figure out, man, what type of funnel do I create? Well, maybe you didn't go into business to create funnels, but you went into business you know, because you're in the health and wellness space or you're a chiropractor or you own a gym uh, or you own a car dealership or, it, you know you know what I mean? Like we don't necessarily go into business to be marketers. And so it's understandable why some of these can be so, sort of like overwhelming tasks. And that's why things like ClickFunnels has entered the picture to make that process easier for the business owners and managers to, to just start these very high level funnels, these high level advertising strategies, marketing strategies and advertising technologies, making it easy for you guys. ClickFunnels literally is template based. It's pretty much click and drag or click and choose which funnel you like, change out your text, and choose sort of like the flow that you like. And it's so easy to use. Um, I highly recommend using it. And you know what's also great about a lot of these services is they come with free trials. I'll even uh, uh, 
add a link to wherever you're seeing this, whether it's on our website or social media channels, to the funnels that, that we use from ClickFunnels so you can sort of see them and see them in action and use them for yourself. Um, but then also Active Campaign has a lot of other great features as well. Some of them are duplicated features from ClickFunnels, um, but some of them I just feel like it's just easier to use and it and it's just better for the strategies that I have and some of the campaigns that I have. So I use Active Campaign uh, for that. Uh, but definitely check out both if you want to generate more leads, if you want to generate better quality leads, then definitely go in the route of using one of these services. Start looking into it, read into ClickFunnels, read into Active Campaigns. I'll give you a link to both of their websites so you can start, sort of start reading it for yourself, but it's highly effective stuff, really, really good quality things, and it's a great starting point. So just to sort of sum up, Facebook lead gen, awesome. It's great, it's native to Facebook. They don't have to click off. It definitely reduces the amount of people that you're, that you're losing by adding steps to that process. So, but it's gonna be a volume game and you have to have clear expectation and understand that it, that is gonna be a volume game and just treat that differently, that's all. And so there's advantages there. But if you are simply right now at a place where the disadvantages are outweighing the advantages and you would rather high quality, well then you gotta go into the direction of creating a, a solid microsite or landing page or splash page, whatever you call it, and, and injecting and adding some of these advertising technologies that we're talking about like ClickFunnels and active campaign, and that will give you the best chance to increase the, 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 the quality of these leads. Now the quantity will go down, but the quality will definitely go up. And that decision is up to you. You gotta just be honest with yourself with each strategy and each campaign. One advice I wanna leave you with is don't universally apply a strategy to every single campaign. It's never gonna work. The results are always gonna be different depending on what product, the demographic, the intent, the, uh, the objective, like it's all different. So make sure when you're mapping things out, be honest with what the result is, what the result can be, and what you, the result that you want to be. That'll really help you decide on where to start with your lead gen, whether it's gonna be Facebook lead gen ads, or sending them to your site, or one of these other tools that we talked about. I hope you guys got some value out of our discussion today. Um, like always, it would mean a tremendous amount if wherever it is that you're consuming this, if you can sort of subscribe, like, comment, share, that, that would be great. And then if you can sort of like take it to the next level too and bring more people into this community by sharing it with someone that you feel like might benefit, that would be awesome too. We wanna to try to grow this community. Remember, the idea is we wanna to try to empower as many people as we possibly can with the thought that they in fact can be successful. I may not have been given the tools early on. I had to figure it out. And so what I'm giving as value is all of the mistakes that I made and all the great successes that I had, well, that's gonna be value to you. So now you don't have to really experiment on your own. I was your sort of your guinea pig and I'm gonna be just giving value upon value upon value. So if you got some questions yourself, you can always jot it down and shoot me a message and, and we'll definitely add it to the list and we'll cover it. But we wanna thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, episode three, we're talking about the Facebook Legion ads. This is Don't Fear Grit. I'm Rob Taramina where we're gonna be talking about marketing strategies and ever advertising technologies to help you build a better business.